Last night, the Rangers played the Bruins in the second preseason game of the year. The Bruins win 3-2 in overtime. Let's go over the game. It was a quick start by both teams early on. Shots were flying both ways. Yaroslav Halak, his first start as a New York Ranger this preseason. And Jeremy Swayman for the Boston Bruins. Julian Gauthier with the first good Rangers chance of the game. Driving to the net and a good save by Jeremy Swayman. Liking what I saw from Julian Gauthier on that rush. Able to get a great A chance shot off. It was a save by Swayman. The Rangers get on the board first early. It's Adam Fox. A very good drop pass from new New York Ranger Vincent Trocek at the point. Fox had some room to move in. Jimmy VZ drove a defender to the net. 1 0 Rangers. Very good play by Trocek to drop it off at the blue line for Fox. And an excellent pay by Jimmy VZ to drive to the net and bring a defender with him so Fox had more room. The Bruins had some good chances in the first period. They were all stopped by Yaroslav Halak, who did an excellent job tonight. I really enjoyed the line of Gauthier, Trevino, and Carpenter. I thought they had some good looks, especially in the first period. This game was a little bit different from Monday night's game against the Islanders. Rangers were a little more loose in their own end. A few minutes left in the first period, Adam Fox makes a great play in his own end by basically juking the four checker with the puck. It was a great play. The guy has incredible patience. Can't wait to see that in the regular season from Adam Fox. He made a great play, drew a penalty in the Rangers to the power play. First unit, not too many good chances. Second unit, however, Julian Gauthier with a good chance and a good save by Swayman. End of the first period, it's 1-0 Rangers. Rangers. The Bruins get on the board in the second period. Jack Studnika, who in my opinion was one of the most influential players in last night's game for the Boston Bruins, was able to forecheck and get the puck stolen away from Ryan Lindgren. Sudanika did hit Lindgren in the face with a stick. There was no call. Lindgren did bleed. The puck got fed out in front of the net and AJ Greer gets the Boston Bruins on the board. It's 1-1. Lindgren thought he had enough time. He did get a high stick like I said, but is what it is. It's 1-1. Just a couple minutes later, the Rangers regain the lead and it's once again Jimmy Vesey making the play. Is Jimmy Vesey going to make this team? Is he going to make this team? Because... He has impressed me. It looks like when he first came to the Rangers, it looks like he's trying to get back to that game, going to the net, putting pucks toward the net. Good things are happening. I, I really think Jimmy VZ might make this team. And honestly, why not have him on the fourth line wing? He's been better than Dryden Hunt so far. Back to the goal. VZ throws it toward the net. It's in between Swayman's pads and Lafreniere is able to bury it. Goal reads Alexei Lafreniere from Jimmy VZ and Ryan Lingren. It's VZ's second assist of the game. And the Rangers regain the lead right away. However, from here on out, I feel like the Boston Bruins kind of took over. The Rangers had a penalty kill opportunity in the second period. I thought they did an excellent job. Best chance for the Bruins came around 20 seconds in. That shot went wide. And then what about five seconds left on the kill? Jared Tenorti did a very good job on the kill as well. He was able to block a shot and then clear it for the kill. With 7.14 left to go in the second period, Louis Domingue relieves Yaroslav Halak. Halak goes 14 for 15 on the saves and his first taste of Rangers hockey. The Rangers were 0 for 4 on the power play last night, but their best chance came on this next power play in the second period. Vitaly Kravtsov seemed to just shoot it through the crease, but it was the Rangers' best chance on the power play and the best look for that first unit as well. On to the third period now. The Boston Bruins had a 4 on 1 opportunity. The puck went through Louis Domingue's pads, hit the post. The Bruins weren't able to bury it. The Rangers were able to dodge a bullet there, but then coming back the other way, it was a great play by Vitaly Kravtsov, who in my opinion has not impressed me yet this preseason, but this play did. He made a good play at the Rangers blue line, taking it away from the Boston Bruin defender and able to skate it into the neutral zone, find an edge, and then he was able to feed Johnny Brzezinski going towards the net. On a breakaway, Brzezinski hit the crossbar, but best play so far, in my opinion, from Vitaly Kravtsov this preseason. Mike Riley gets called for a two-minute slash on Julian Gauthier, and this is where the Bruins tie the game up, shorthanded. Vincent Trocek tries to force a pass through the center of the ice. It's picked off by the Boston Bruins. They come on transition. It is a two-on-one. Lafreniere trying to catch up. He drops a stick. Ends up being a two-on-one. Oscar Steen scores shorthanded. That's about it for the rest of the third period. Then on to overtime, the Bruins get the win. The Rangers coming down on a two-on-one opportunity. Vincent Trocek misses Adam Fox with a pass. Goes the other way. Vincent Trocek decides to take a change. And Adam Fox didn't recognize he was the only guy back. So the Rangers get caught. And the Boston Bruins win the game. Just Vitaly Krasov, the lone guy in the defensive zone. And it's AJ Greer's second goal of the game. 
set up by Studenica again. Jack Studenica and AJ Greer, the two big players for the Boston Bruins last night. I thought they were excellent. For the Rangers, I mean, listen, it's preseason. I'm not going to dive into it too much, but I do want to talk about some things. Jimmy VZ has been very impressive. Vitalik Kraftsov, not so much. I like seeing Vinny Trocek try to get his feet wet a little bit. He had a really good game in the neutral zone, fighting for the puck. He was hitting guys. He was very engaged. It looked like he was very excited for his first game as a Ranger. I thought both goaltenders for the Rangers were solid as well. Happy to see Louis Domingue and Yaroslav Halak get some saves in. Other than that, it is what it is. Again, very happy about Jimmy Vesey's play. Can he make this team? I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And I'll see you guys later.